Hey creators, Nate here with Production Create. Today, I'll show you our awesome new script called Texture Flow. This script allows you to quickly and easily displace VFX elements based on your background footage, as you can see here. Using this technique will change plain old normal VFX footage into more complex and photo real composites based on your background imagery. There are, of course, other creative applications for this, having a foreground layer displace and use the texture of a background, but today we'll primarily be using it for this kind of cracked road effect. In order to use our script, you'll need to make sure you have After Effects with Content Aware Fill. This is available in version 16.1 and above. This is going to be required in creating this cool effect. Also, check out David's video on this, in which he goes in depth on creating this displacement effect from scratch. So if you wanna know kind of the nitty gritty details of how this works, you can also check that out. After you've downloaded the script from Production Crate, you can go ahead and copy and paste it or move it into your After Effects, Support Files, and Scripts folder. You can put this in whatever version you want, or you can also keep your script somewhere else on your computer. It will just take a few extra steps to run it. Now, in order to run the script and start using it, we'll go to File, Scripts, and if you moved it to your scripting folder in After Effects, you'll see TextureFlow.jsx. You can just click on it to run it, or if you have it in a different location, you can go to Run Script File and navigate to your script file to run it from anywhere. Now that we've launched the script, let's make sure our comp is set up correctly. Again, all we need to provide is a background layer and a displacement layer, which is kind of like our foreground layer. So I have here a uh, image of a city and this asphalt asset. I'm gonna first go ahead and change the resolution to something more manageable uh, because this image is very large. Next, I'm going to make the comp short because right now it's set to six minutes. So let's make it something like six seconds to match the length of our element. And then now I'm, I want to go ahead and line up my background so that it looks more like uh, this is on the floor. here. That looks a lot more flush with the ground. As you can see, we have a VFX element, but the cracked ground does not match this sort of crosswalk. So inside of the script interface, we'll first select our background layer. In this case, I have this JPEG image, which I can actually just rename to background. And anytime you want to refresh the layers, just hit refresh and you can have a fresh view of all the layers if you added any new ones or removed other layers. Then for our displacement layer, I'm going to choose this asphalt element, which is currently on top. Now we'll click on next. If you had the content aware fill window open, it would have just disappeared. Uh, so you can click on this open button in the script to easily access it when we need it. And right now we do need it. The script has built-in instructions, but I'll go ahead and go over them here. So we want to change the content aware fill method to surface. So under fill method, I'll make sure it's set to surface and then we'll hit generate fill layer. So I'll hit generate fill and you can see it's going to inform me that it's now analyzing and filling this layer. This will take different amounts of time depending on how long your footage is. Right now we're dealing with about six seconds, which should be a very quick process. But if you're dealing with a very, very long clip, this process might take a while. So make sure your clip is as short as you can uh, to make it go faster. Now you can see we have an interesting displacement effect applied. And once our process is complete, you can see it's just rendering the last parts. Once it's complete, we can press finish here inside of the script, which will complete this entire workflow. We can go ahead and see our finished results with our effects uh, now displacing and using the texture of our background layer. And we even have uh, shadows in here. So if you want to turn that off and just get the displacement, you can have that or bring back in the shadows to give it a more realistic look. Uh, one last tip is if you have a complicated background with uh, multiple layers instead of just a background image or video, make sure you pre-compose and move all the attributes to a new composition and then you can use your new background pre-composition uh, to make sure all your other elements are displaced or reflected by this effect. And now you've successfully used the texture flow script to achieve a beautiful result in just a few minutes. There are plenty of other creative applications for this script uh, to make the most of your foreground elements and displace them with your background. Once again, I'm Nate with Production Create, and remember to make it awesome.